Are you stuck and want to get your Doctor Who obsessed loved one for Christmas? Maybe a birthday? Maybe another present buying occasion? Well look no further than Phil's patented Doctor Who gift guide. All the best Doctor Who gifts, right to your screen. Okay, it's December, it's almost Christmas, we are like two weeks away, less than two weeks away from Christmas. Have you got all your gifts yet? If not, and you've got a Doctor Who fan in your life, well I've got the present gift list for you. And if you order with Amazon Prime, I think you probably can still get them on time, ready for Christmas. This is not sponsored by Amazon Prime. I wish. I've got a Christmas tree to get in the festive mood, uh, but I don't feel I'm festive enough yet, so let's remedy that. There we go. Properly festive now. So I have scoured the internet for a load of gift ideas that I think Doctor Who fans would really like this Christmas, or birthdays, or any time really. Any gift buying time. When else do you buy gifts? Do people guess buy gifts for New Year's? Hanukkah, maybe? Uh, did you get a gift at Hanukkah? I, I, I don't know. Any time that a Doctor Who fan might need a gift, you can consult this list. Uh, it just happens to be Christmas right now. I, I planned to do this list weeks ago, but for the last three weeks I've had the most horrendous cold ever. I mean, serious man flu. Serious, serious man flu. And I just haven't been up to it, which is really annoying because I had all the, the research prepared three weeks ago and uh, it would have given you more time to buy these gifts I guess but also since then there I've seen loads of other gift guides being posted Doctor Who gift guides being posted on the internet I've avoided them I haven't looked at them I suspect there'll be a lot of crossover uh, but I could have been first if I just not had this damn cold but enough of me being ill let's get to it now this isn't an official Doctor Who product by any means but those Doctor Who fans, especially Doctor Who fans of the Peter Capaldi era, will certainly uh, associate with it and recognise it from effectively the beginning of the title sequence where the clock goes all spirally. It very much is like that. Like I say, it's not official merchandise or anything like that. It doesn't even bill itself as related to Doctor Who, but I think Doctor Who fans would love this on the wall. I mean, in terms of clock design, I love it. I would, I would absolutely ha happily have this on my wall somewhere. Um, so that's, that's, I'm peaking with my first one because I love that. That is brilliant. Let's move into the kitchen now. So if you've got some Doctor Who fans who like to dabble in the kitchen, maybe like their, their drinks, their coffees, maybe like a bit of cooking, I've got some things for you. First up is the Art Deco design coffee mugs, espresso mugs, teapot set, egg cups. You can get loads of stuff with these designs in. I've got the espresso mugs already. I love these designs. The TARDIS one is my favorite. I just love the way it comes at a jaunty angle, and I love the colours on both the Cyberman, the Cyberman and the TARDIS ones. They're my favourite colours of the set. The uh, the, uh, the Dalek one is a bit more of a garish, I think the Dalek one is orange? And there's a yellow one, I forget what's on the yellow design now. They are, they are great, and if you've got any coffee lovers or tea lovers, these are the gifts for them. And if you're British, who doesn't like tea? Or for when you're doing a bit of cooking, how about this, a TARDIS chopping board. And of course you don't want to get all your cooking down you, so you need your wibbly wobbly tiny whiny apron. So some great Doctor Who gifts there for people that like to be in the kitchen as well and do a bit of cooking. Now how about some games? Christmas Day isn't complete without a board game or a game of some kind with the family, dragging in the family members that don't really want to be involved. Come on, it's Christmas. A bit of fun games is, is part of the Christmas tradition. So why not do something very simple? Trivia Pursuit Doctor Who. It comes in a neat little package. None of that board malarkey. And a dice. Um, and, and questions. And see who in your family knows the most about Doctor Who. This is another great one. Hey, let's do some now. See how many of these you get. We'll do one card. I'll see how many I can get. And see how many you can get. Okay, so. Uh, topic one, blue, Time Lords. Who gave Amy and Rory a prayer leaf that translated their daughter's name, Melody Pond, into the name she knew her by, River Song. I only watched that episode the other day. What was, who was it? Who gave her the, who gave her the prayer leaf? It was, it was, oh, I don't know her name. It was the soldier lady, wasn't it? It was, um, oh, what was her name? I'm gonna have to look, Lorna Bucket. 
Okay, question two on companions. Of which organisation are Yates, Bell, Benton, Grant, Shaw and Sullivan members of? I'll give you a couple of seconds. But it's unit, right? Yep, it's unit. Episodes and stories. In 42, which trivia question about the Beatles and Elvis is one of the SS Pentaloins door seals? Uh, is it which Elvis song did the Beatles cover? Oh, who had the most pre-download UK number ones? On Appalachia, the two Amys dance to what 1995 Euro pop hit by Los Del Rio? Los Del Rio. 1995. I'm gonna say the Macarena. Yes! Macarena. Hey, Macarena! Next question is on monsters. What race of cat-like people worship the goddess Santori? This is the people in survival. I've never seen survival. Um, the the Chitras? I'm guessing. I'm purely guessing. The Sisters of Plentitude. Oh, is it not those cat people? Is it? Is it the cat people from New Earth? I didn't realise they worshipped anybody, but hey, shows how much attention I paid to that episode. Okay, final question. Uh, this is uh, Cast Crew and Beyond. What was the name of the Roald Dahl penned fantastical TV show that Ron Grainer composed the theme tune for? Dahl TV show? Um, I don't know. I don't know any Roald Dahl TV shows. Tales of the Unexpected. Well, I got two. Two out of that. How did you do? Did you, did you do any better? So there you go. That's... Doctor Who Trivia Pursuit, um, buy it to test your friends and your family's Doctor Who knowledge. Alternatively, you might want an actual board game with a board, in which case try Doctor Who Cluedo. I didn't know this existed until about a month ago when I started researching this video. I believe in a video not too long ago I said, wouldn't it be cool if Doctor Who Cluedo existed? And it does! It exists! I really want to play it! Okay, so that's the Doctor Who game sorted. Next on the list of present suggestions for your Doctor Who loving friends and family are of course the, the perennial favourite, the Pop Funko figures, of which sadly I don't have any of the Doctor Who ones. I've got a Captain America and an Iron Man. I don't have any Doctor Who ones. I feel I'm very much lacking there. Sad. I'll remedy that in the next year. I will get a Pop Funko figure in the next year. Any suggestions on which ones to get, let me know in the comments below. I, you know, which is your favourite? Have you got any? Let me know. Always handy. Advise people of which ones they might want to get. Now it's turning very cold recently. It's been freezing the last week. I've had to put on layers and everything. It's pile on the layers for when you're walking outside and then you get on the train and it's too hot and it's chaos. But if you're if you know someone that also suffers from the cold, doesn't like the cold, lives somewhere cold, I've got the present idea for you. Dalek arm warmers. Kind of glove things that kind of go halfway up your arms as well, so they cover sort of like there to there, there-ish. And they, they got the Dalek, Dalek bobbles and thing you can get a hat to match it if you want. Definitely a present for these cold, cold days. Okay, what about books? Not gonna do novels, but what about some fun books you can buy for people that might give them a few hours of enjoyment, a few weeks of enjoyment, that kind of thing. Let's start off with one for the little ones. I bought this book for my daughter, Tears for Tardis, and it is amazing. It's an alphabet book, suitable for toddlers, where all of the letters are represented by things from Doctor Who. So T is for Tardis, A is for Amy, Apple, and Adipose and angels. There's a Z for Zygon, obviously, and there are loads more. I would show it to you, but my daughter is away for the night um, at my in-laws and she's taking it with her. She likes the book so much she's decided to taking it with her. Proud Doctor Who daddy moment story here. The other day she, was, she had her book, Doctor Who book out. She was sat on the sofa watching CBBS. My daughter is coming up to three years old, so still very young, and she was watching some program on CBeebies, which is a children's television channel in the UK. And she turned to me and said, Daddy, I don't want to watch this. 
I want to watch Doctor Who. Proud moment. Very proud moment. And then she pointed to the adipose in the book, in A for adipose, and she said she basically wanted to watch that one. So we found Partners in Crime, and we put that on, and she loved it. Uh, so that is, that's very, very pleased with that. So the, don't indoctrinate your kids to Doctor Who with tears for TARDIS, like I have done. Other fun books you might want to buy? Paper Dolls, written by Simon Guerrier, illustrated by Tom Morris, and with contributions by Crystal D. This is, uh, if anybody remembers, you know, is old enough to remember Paper Dolls from when they were younger, is it, it basically you cut out a figure and you cut out various costumes for them and then you kind of, these tabs, fold over so you hook the costumes on top of the person and you can change the costumes and it's a whole book of those. You got doctors, you got companions, um, and you got a couple of villains in there as well, you got Missy, and yeah, it's a, it's a fun book. Other fun books, you might want to check out the Doctor Who colouring books, there are two of them I believe, this is the one I own, I haven't actually started it yet, so it's all, it's all blank, but I'll, I'll get around to it at some point, check out that, so if you've got any artistic Doctor Who fans, maybe they want to try that, or maybe a Doctor Dot, I've started one of these but I haven't finished it, I started it in a previous video, I think it's Paul McGann, but I've only got that far. So there's some fun books you could buy uh, for your Doctor Who fans. Oh, and how c I can't miss these. The Doctor Who Mr. Men series. These are funny. I got these for my birthday. Uh, these four. I've got the first set that came out. There's been another set come out, and now there is Doctor Tenth, the Christmas special one as well. So obviously, I mean, that's the main one, I suppose, which would make a good Christmas gift, but these make good gifts for anybody who remembers Mr. Men books and is a Doctor Who fan or likes a bit of humour. You could also buy these for kids as well. Um, my daughter loves Mr. Men books, so they could have been for her, but they're not. They're mine. The, these are mine. They are, they are not pages. So yeah, that's the book selection. Oh god, that is so much to buy. Uh, right, let's move on to Christmassy things. If you want to theme it Christmassy, here are some ideas for you. You could, of course, get a Doctor Who Christmas t-shirt. I am modelling one right now. I got this actually for Christmas. Somebody bought this for me. I think my mum. I think it was my mum. It was my mum or my sister bought this for me for Christmas a few years ago. I'm sure it was then. It, it's, it's in the style of a Christ traditional Christmas jumper, uh, but with Doctor Who imagery on it. What's not to like? Maybe you want to get some of these Doctor Who Christmas decorations to hang on your tree. I don't have any, but maybe I should rectify that next year. Uh, in the DW Doctor Who tardis logo thing. And these presents need to be wrapped, so why not do them in TARDIS gift wrap? There are a variety of Doctor Who gift wraps available, but the TARDIS one is my favourite. So I'll leave the link to that one in the, in the blurb in the thing of me below. And finally, last thing I'm going to mention today is all these presents need somewhere to go. If Santa is bringing these presents, he needs a stocking to put them in. And have I got the stocking for you? Again, there are a load of Doctor Who stockings out there to choose from. Please do look around to find your favourite, but this one I particularly like. I like the imagery on it, I like the picture on it. The uh, Leonardo da Vinci... Leonardo da Vinci? No. Van Gogh. Leonardo da Vinci. The Van Gogh image from um, of the TARDIS exploding, the Van Gogh style image from the TARDIS exploding that uh, was in uh, Good Man Goes to War. Well, no, no, Pandora Opens. Pandora Opens. That's the one. Uh, it was in that episode. Um, very, very uh, nice looking stocking to put all these presents in. I don't think you'd fit all of these presents in there, but you'd fit some of them. So there you go, that's my gift guide. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I will leave links to all of these in the description below so you can click on Amazon and get them. Some of them are available on Amazon Prime so you can get them in time for Christmas. Some of them aren't, but buy them for other occasions. Buy them for birthdays and New Year's and christening presents or I don't know, whenever you buy presents for any occasion you could buy presents for people, naming ceremonies. Although, that's probably a bit too young uh, for most of this stuff. Apart from the T for TARDIS book, never too early for that. Thanks for watching, I'll be back for more Doctor Who videos, so if you haven't already, please do like, subscribe, share and all that jazz, and I will see you next time. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.